Something that Christians and Wiccans and Muslims and all sorts of people of faith often throw around is what, in fact, is a lie. Is a lie an untruth for you, or is a lie an untruth for me? Is a lie a truth that has been abused, or is a lie a truth that is, well, just not something you can see? In life, we have to decide immediately when we're dealing with interacting with people of what is and isn't public information. See, public information is how a person presents themselves to the world. If you're outgoing and jovial and you sound like Fonzie from Happy Days, then that's you. If you're introspective and you're distant and you don't like socialization, then that's you. But what we know about the difference of the personalities is that those personalities are only visible in behavior. It's not something that you actually tangibly see, per se. But something we know about medical rights today is they are steeped in privacy, and that only a handful of people that you choose have the right to see your medical records. And pretty much what I know about most people in America is they individually keep their medical records once they reach about college age. They understand that it's their life, their body, and they have to take care of it. The problem in families where there's codependency issues in terms of poor relational dynamics and power struggles and sibling rivalry is that some people feel that they have the rights to you, but they won't allow the same rights back to them.